Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna do uh, brakes, all four on my 2021 Civic Type R. Now those of you are probably wondering, you just bought this car, if you follow the channel, you knew I just bought this car recently. And the reason why I'm doing a brake pad change is because I want a different compound that can give me a good initial bite and still off, and then offer less brake dust. Because brake dust is a huge problem in these cars. Uh, it's hard to keep the wheels clean and if you're someone who likes to keep your car clean you probably want to do this now these pads probably wouldn't be good for like a track day but for your day-to-day -day use I think they're good pads <laughs> and just to show you what I mean I drove um, probably I cleaned these wheels, I drove maybe 50 miles. And I came back home, and let's just say, like, look, brake dust. And I've been trying my best to keep these wheels clean. Um, if I let them go a little bit longer, it's gonna be heavier dust. So this is a way to minimize. So the brake pads I just had to go with has been the Akebono. Now these are for the front, these are the performance ones, and then the Pro ACT is what I got for the rear. I ordered these, um, I believe, on um, the fronts are gonna be pretty easy, the rear's gonna be easy. Um, one thing you're gonna need, the tools you're gonna need for this is obviously just basic tools. I'll link all this in the description. Um, you'll need some type of caliper spreader. I'll link all this in the description as well. Um, you're gonna need a some type of device to put the parking brake into a service mode because there would be no way to retract the piston since it's electronic back into um, the caliper. So with this device, um, I'll be able to do that here. This will also be linked into the description. Optional uh, will be a torque wrench, uh, impact driver set. What I'm using to take the wheels off it's going to be a uh, set of these uh, Queso Men deep wall. Um, these are wheel protector sockets, so they have the plastic coating, so as they go inside, they're not going to, if they end up touching, it won't take anything off. Two pins here, you're gonna need these to pop the pins back. This is one by Brembo, or made for Brembo. This is just a generic one. I sometimes work better with this one to push the pins back. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is jack up the car. Go into a jack point. And a jack point is going to be, when you look under it. So starting with the under body, and you see that reinforced metal right there. It's just that one little section right here where it's uh, reinforced, that's your jack point. Just enough where the wheel comes off the ground. All right, be careful when you remove it, not to chip your paint on the caliper. So I'm gonna push the wheel in and I'm gonna slide it out. So your brake caliper, it is held, the brakes are held in by these two pins. One here, one there for the front, and then this clip. Take note of how the clip is placed. See it here, and you see there how the clip is in, in place. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna back these pins out. One, two, and then this clip should release. 
and then we'll be able to just pull the pads out. The caliper itself stays on the rotor. So I'm gonna take a hammer and this Brembo tool, I like this one because it has a dimple inside to keep it from slipping off the pin. So you're gonna put it right there. And you're just gonna Okay, go to the lower one. Might help to push this in just a little bit to help get the tension off the pin. And then you just slide it out the back. So remember how to clip one in like this way, not this way, but like this. And we're going to loop these pins before they go back through here. Now, before we take the pad out, you can use a caliper depressing tool. I prefer to um, just use the pad, the existing pad, to kind of push the piston back inside. So loosen the cap to the brake fluid reservoir, which is here. Make sure you should not get any runoff anyway, but just help with the pressure. And I just put some tension and I just put some back tension on each piston. There should be four of them. So two on each side and I just put tension and push it back. Now this car has about 4,000 miles on it. So there should, there's hardly any wear and tear on these pads, but you can see as they come out, and then I just pull them out this way. All right, now we take a look at the pistons, and you can almost feel them by hand if they're reset back inside. Now, if, you're, if they were, your pads are worn, you can push this one out, push this one in, this will come out, you push it in, and you get to work each one little by little. Um, there are special caliber depressing tools. This is just the way I do it. Um, so we go for that. All right, so now we're going in for our new pads. And they should, if the pistons reset all fully, it should slide back in. Okay, that went back in there perfectly. Okay, um, this one's not going back in. This pack of lubricant is included in the uh, package. You want to just go ahead and apply some lubricant. You can clean this part up if you need to. Like I said, this car has a little bit of miles. No reason to reset everything. Doesn't need a lot of lubricant, but just allowed it to slide. To so now place them back in. Not all the way, just right there. Now we can place our clip back inside. I always think it's best to work with the bottom one first. Get that through to where the pin pokes through. And then 
press this down. Push these pins in as much as you can. Okay, now here, careful. We're gonna carefully hammer these pins back through. Now that they're done, just clean off the rotor, the caliper a little bit. Just taking some regular um, APC, just multi-purpose cleaner, and just wiping it down. Make sure you get everything. All right, just put your wheel back on. All right, always start with these by hand. Never use the impact driver on screwing these in. Start them by hand first. So I'm gonna do is my impact driver. Slowly. Low speed, I just screwed it back on, but they're not torqued all the way yet. All right, we'll torque to uh, 80 foot pounds of torque. So let's go into that. Next up, we're gonna do the rear. We're gonna use my Fox Well tool. All right, if you can read the screen, we're gonna go over to Honda. Okay, 
it's going to read the VIN number. This is the part you want to turn the engine, I'm oh, sorry, you want to turn the car on, but not the engine. There we go, we pulled the VIN number, press OK. Now we're going to go over to special functions. Press enter. There's different options. Change tire size. Let's see, suspension. Electronic parking brakes, what we want. I want to put the brake pad maintenance mode. Enter brake pad maintenance mode. It says check the following ignitions were fulfilled. Release the parking brake. The battery voltage has got to be over 10 volts. So let me release the parking brake. Parking brake is released. I'm going to press enter. I guess we should hear the actuator's release. All right, with the rear, same location, find that spot underneath the car. And jack it up. Make sure that you have your front, your car is in gear. So if you have a manual, make sure that it's in, you know, first gear. If it's automatic, make sure you're, um, you're in park. Uh, also recommend just go ahead and putting some wheel chalks or something in, the front, in front of the front wheels to block it, but considering that you have um, release your parking brake. You can't set your parking brake, so there's nothing holding. Okay. What you want to do? You're going to remove these two dust covers off the back of the caliper. So seven millimeter hex. And we're going to just go ahead and move this brake line down just a little bit. You may need a swivel joint, which I'm probably going to put on here. because It's not going to fit. And that's going to go right in here. This is what should come out. You don't need a flex on this side. You just have to go and with here and we'll just drop right in. Get more room to work. You'll see this back out. And before we get this all the way out, probably should take this off. So it just pulls out. Sure, just kind of help me push that piston back in with the pad. This pad is stuck here. You'll see which pad is which. You need this one. Obviously, it's going to go inside here. Like that. Um, and this one is going to go in. Let's go with pressure. Okay, and just put it back in here. Let's get the other one. Just 
slide them back in. Now, when you're pushing, I'm pretty sure you can push the piston back in. I didn't do very much with mine because, my, like I said, my pads are new. But I imagine it should be the same procedure either way. Yeah, since you have the parking brake in the service mode, uh, the electronics aren't going to fight against you. your clamp Shame we did that once I get this all set. There is no like, I'm not gonna give you guys a torque value in this. I'm sure there is. Honestly, I'm just going until I feel it's tight. Okay. It's hard to nail that value down accurately. Don't forget to replace your dust covers. And get your wheel back on. So now that that's done, we're going to go back into normal mode for the brake pad maintenance. Enter. Press enter to start. And there we go. That's it.